Hey, how you doing today? My name is Relia and thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you how to find every grub in Hollow Knight as quickly as possible. Instead of showing you where every individual grub in the game is, I'm going to show you how to find the map, which will show you where to find every grub you need for your game. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We're so close. We're so close. No. Oh my gosh. The first thing we're going to do is start over at the Queen's Garden so Station. If you've never been there before, here's a map. You can get there from the Queen Station by heading up and to the left. You kind of have to work your way around, and I think you'll be able to find it just fine. What we are going to be doing is making our way down and to the right, and we're going to make our way to the end of this long tunnel. Just know that you are going to need Ishma's Tear to be able to get the Love Key. I'm going to go head down to the right. Skip that guy. Down in here. So this is where we're on the map. Again, we're gonna head all the way to the right until we get to the end of this long tunnel. You can go ahead and save on the bench to the left or just keep the Queen's Gardens bench if that works for you. Try not to take too much damage through here. As I fall and take damage. Alright, so we made our way to the end of that path. We're going to go one more room to the right. We have to come up. And drop back down. So this room right here, again, we're still going all the way to the right. And this is the part where you need Ishma's Tear to get through the acid. Just tank this guy. Oop, crap, there's another one. And right here, we pick up the love key. So with the love key, we are now going to make our way over to the love tower, which is where the collector is hiding. I'm going to go ahead and fast travel us over to the king station. We're going to make our way into kingdom's edge, and we have to make our way into the love tower from kingdom's edge. So here we are at the king station. We're going to make our way down into the right. Here we are on the map. This is part of the love tower, but you can't make your way in from here. We're going to have to make our way back down and come in from Kingdom's Edge. Alright, so from here we're going to make our way up. Watch out for falling bodies. So we're going to have to come around and then down a little bit. Again, you should already have Isthmus here by now. Alright, so now we're back to the main room in Kingdom's Edge. From here, we're going to drop down and to the left. And now we're back at the Tower of Love. And you got yourself the Love Key. Before we press on, down here is the other side of those doors that we were at earlier, and then this is a key to make it so you can get back through here faster. Alright, let's make our way to the collector. 
You can hear the collector playing around with the grubs. So this is a pretty easy boss fight. The enemies that he throws down are going to be done in one hit. Just get to whatever he throws down on the ground as quickly as possible. And then make your way back to the collector. Just constantly be chasing him down. He's always going to hop towards you, so just kind of keep close to him. You'll see the dust come out of the ceiling based on whatever is going to land on the ground. And then if you get him down, just smack him a couple of times. And there's the dust. More dust and there he is. So don't let those little flyers get away from you, otherwise it makes things a lot more difficult. Hopefully you hit the switch on your way. Because it makes getting back to the collector much easier. Oh, check this out. He'll even collect your shade. Or shadow? Whatever you want to call it. Once you hit the bugs, if there's any that get away, just make sure to use your spell attack. See that? We got rid of two of them. Didn't have to worry about them. And just like that, we take out the collector. He's got some grubs for us, which is very helpful. And right here, this is what we came for. The collector's map. When you view the map of the current area, we are going to be able to see every grub that we have not collected thus far in the game take a look at that grubs everywhere this is what's going to make it so you can find every grub in the game as quickly as possible i hope that you found this video helpful please consider subscribing for even more hollow knight tips tricks and how-to videos my name is relia and i hope to talk to you again more soon you guys want to see some fails i'll show you some fails we're so close. We're so close. No. Oh my gosh. Ouch. Oh.